Hi there, welcome back to Conjured Craft. Um, this is my second Pride Month video this year, so if you haven't seen the first one, be sure to check that out. Uh, there'll be a link somewhere, I'm sure. Um, but this week, it's something um, we, we could say a little different, definitely a little different. I was reached out to by Fiverr uh, over at Sugar Candy Miniatures. Um, they presented a, a very interesting theme. Uh, it, it's about belonging, it's about acceptance, it's about being who you are, um, but it's also about clowns. The fun part about this prompt is that the only real guideline is clowns. No color limitations, no specific paints, just clowns. Now Fiverr was kind enough to send me a shooter to contribute. Uh, this way we would all be painting Moon Clan models and they will be finishing up the bases for the rest of us. This is by far the smallest bit of plastic I've ever painted, so I did spend some time getting the model properly assembled and on a painting handle. After priming, I started with what I thought would make an interesting looking clown, but I started to quickly realize that I was just making a very generic cultist. This work wasn't a waste though, as it was essentially my practice round, and gave me time to find some inspiration. I landed on the colors of the Jester from Darkest Dungeon, one of my favorite video games. Brushing off as much paint as I could, I added some tiny green stuff bells to the hat and shoes to make this model just a little bit more unique. While I try painting this up for the second time, I just want to mention that like in my last video, this project is also a fun way to celebrate Pride Month and raise some awareness to causes that need support. All the members of this collab were encouraged to give to charities of their choice, so I'm donating to a local group here in New Zealand called Inside Out. They are a national organization which works with youth, whanau, schools, and communities to make Aotearoa a safer place for all young rainbow people. I encourage you to find a non-for-profit in your area that you can also support if you are able. After taking my time on round two of this paint job, I had one last bit of inspiration for this little shooter. Using a decorative bead, I could paint it up to look like a giant inflatable bouncy ball that this gobbo can balance on top of. Since it already had a hole drilled into it, all I had to do was glue a bit of wire into the ball and then very carefully drill a hole into the mini and check to make sure that it would all fit nicely. So there you have it, a clown army that will hopefully brighten your day, make you smile a bit, and more importantly, one that anyone can join. Um, if you wanna paint your own little goblin or whatever else to join our clown army, um, make sure when you post it online, you use the hashtag clown gobbo. Uh, that way any one of us can find it and share it on social media. Now, more importantly from here, make sure you go check out Fiverr's video and of course the rest of the people in the collab. Um, Fiverr will be finishing up all of the bases like I mentioned before. Um, as of recording this right now, I haven't actually seen it yet, so I'm pretty excited. As always, thank you so much for watching this video. Um, if you enjoyed it, feel free to hit the like button. And if you'd like to stick around, maybe consider subscribing. Until the next one, I'll see you soon, and remember to be kind to one another. My shirt may be nice, but I'm wearing pajama pants down below. Come on, you got this. 
As always, thank you so much for... That should do it.